What's up everybody, Scotty the Body here, and I'm at the Border Headquarters in Tampa, Florida to recap all the amazing things we've been lucky enough to be a part of in the year 2019. All right, we kicked off 2019 with our busiest event yet. That's right, over 200 of you guys skated the Grind for Life series in St. Petersburg presented by Marinella. Grind for Life is our series of 10 contests around the US in both bowl and street that directly benefits the Grind for Life organization. This year, over $10,000 has gone to the organization from GFL contest alone. Next up, we headed to Zephyr Hills, Florida for the next stop of the Grind for Life series. Except this time, Red Bull brought out superstars Ryan Sheckler, Zion Wright, and Jamie Foy. Jamie and Zion actually grew up skating Grind for Life contests. Check them out on the podium right here. Next, it was on to New Smyrna Beach, Florida for another stop of the Grind for Life series where we have been going for the last six years. Our first trip to California was for Woodward's Mano a Mano, where we helped produce and organize a private mini ramp game of skate. This year, Vans asked us for help with their BMX Pro Cup series. First stop of the year was Singapore, where we got the job done, and then Dylan and Clements went out and got some street clips after work. Next up was the first stop of the Hot Wheels Junior Series built by Woodward in Huntington Beach. This is a skate and BMX contest for kids aged 16 and under with stops across the United States. Back in Florida, it was another stop of the GFL series in Fort Lauderdale. This has also been our sixth straight year going to Ramp 48. Next up was the Vans BMX Pro Cup stop in Australia. And yes, we went to the Opera House. While we were in Australia, we kicked off another year of the Vans Park series with the Oceania Regionals. Vans Park series is a global tour of park terrain events featuring top pros. Next, we headed to another GFL series in the desert of Phoenix, Arizona. Next up, we went to Atlanta, Georgia to run the Border Ram. The Border Ram is our national series of top level amateur street contests where the winners receive all expense paid trips to the Empire Open in Montreal. After that, we return to Phoenix to do another Hot Wheels Junior Series at KTR. Next up, we get another stamp in the passport as we head to China for another stop of the Vans Park series. From China, we went straight to London to help out with our favorite skate nerd project, Inescape. Inescape is the Smithsonian Institution's celebration of innovation and culture in skateboarding. From the Big Ben to the Big Apple, our next stop was the Border Am at the LES Skate Park in New York City. We also stayed the next day in New York City to help run another successful year of Harold Hunter Day. Keeping it in the Northeast, we were in Rye, New Hampshire for another stop of the Hot Wheels Junior Series. Then we headed to Ann Arbor, Michigan for another amazing stop of the GFL Series. Then it was time for more passport stamps, this time to go to Germany for the Vans BMX Pro Cup. While in Europe, we helped run the Grand Prix Baroon in Czech Republic. From there, Vans Park Series brought us down to Brazil again. Following that were two stops of the Vans BMX Pro Cup at Woodward East and Woodward West. Now it's back to California where another stop of the Border Ram went down in Huntington Beach. Woo! We're 25 events in and it's only July. Next up, Vans Park Series in Montreal, Canada. After that, Vans Park Series kept it going with a stop down in Cape Town, South Africa. Next, we were back in Huntington Beach to help Vans present the BMX Rebel Jam at the US Open. That was followed by the Vans Showdown, one of our favorite new events where we got to see pros you don't normally see at contests, like Austin Gillette and Tyler Bledsoe. Next up, Vans Park Series took us to Paris for the very first time, where we had some epic street side missions after work. Check these clips to see all of our additions for the Hall of Meat. After France, we were going, going, back, back, to Cali Cali, where the city of Los Angeles worked with us to help run another Grind for Life stop at the Belvedere Skate Park. Who goes to Singapore twice in one year? That's right, we do. This time, it was for the Vans Park Series Asia Regionals. Helping with Vans BMX Pro Cup in Mexico City was a great excuse to hit the streets in a new town after a hard day of work. Jeez, Huntington Beach again? Maybe we should get a house there. But we were there for another stop at the Vans Park Series. Next up, we finally hit NorCal for the Hot Wheels Junior Series at Woodward Tahoe. Chico Brenes, we were all starstruck. Another Grind for Life stop brought us to the purple skies and beautiful scenery in San Luis Obispo, California. After that, it was time for the season finals of the Border Ram, hosted by the Empire Open in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Shout out to my boy Jake Alardi who took home first place in that one and $10,000. The Vans Park Series World Championships went down in Salt Lake City, Utah, where Oski Rosenberg and Sakura Yosuzumi were crowned for 2019. The 2% beer literally had Dylan flipping out in the streets. Huntington again? We really should get a house there. This time we were back in SoCal for the Vans BMX Pro Cup World Championships. 
Then we got to go back to Woodward, Pennsylvania one more time for a stop of the Hot Wheels Junior Series. You can't get to California without stopping in Texas first. So we went to Houston for another stop of the Grind for Life Series. Huntington Beach? Again? Well, guess what? We actually do have a border house there. I stay there all the time. But this time, I went out to help out at Exposure Skate, our favorite all-women skate contest. 2019 isn't over yet, but Vance has already kicked off the 2020 VPS season with its first stop in Japan. We also had another really fun street mission while we were out there. Now we're back in Tampa, hosting events in our own private TF. Our annual best trick at the Border HQ went down where 2,000 in cash went to Hungry Ams in town for Tampa Am. The last GFL series event of the year also took place in our private TF. It's also the annual award where we recognize the best of the season ranks and special awards for people who stood out all year. Closing out the year, we went to Atlanta for the return of Red Bull's Mind the Gap contest on Poplar Street in downtown. Woo! That's it for nearly 50 events in 2019. We also did other stuff like updating the street course at our private TF. We also continued to improve the Border Live, our scoring app that is used by so many of you in the industry. Catch us in 2020 doing more of the same. Find out what we're up to next at theborderevents.com. We want to give a special thank you to our friends, our family, the skaters, and our sponsors. We couldn't do it without you. In fact, I, I, I got something for you. Hmm. Bye. Still feel like it's missing something. I know what it is. Copenhagen! That's right, every year we get to go to Europe to celebrate bicycles, heart-shaped sunglasses, a little bit of the bubbly, and skateboarding with all our favorite pros. So that's really gonna wrap it up for 2019. We'll see you guys in 2020. Beers on me.